Morning. Morning. Afternoon. Mid afternoon. I don't know what to say. I've forgotten how to do this. Yeah. That noise you can hear is a fire engine re reversing out of the fire station because we've been moored next to the fire station in Retford for the last three weeks. So that's a noise we've been hearing quite <laughs> commonly, it's along been with some sort of alarm. Well, not alarm, but like a, you know, they have sort of a communication thing where it makes a noise whenever it's about to do something over the speakers slash tannoy. Yeah. And I think and it's the like middle of the night. I think oh, the good. phone's like projected outside as well. Right? Yeah. So we arrived in Retford on the day that the official lockdown was announced. So that was three weeks and one day ago. So we've been here for three weeks and one day. And the lockdown has not been lifted. However, um, we are allowed to move for water and we are out of water. Yeah, we don't look bad three weeks in one place. Yeah, we've been shopping about once a week, which has been good. Yeah, so that's the, the other good thing about being here. There's a little, ad, not a little, an Aldi and an Asda. Um, Relatively close by. And the, above this lock, there's a really nice park that's been so quiet. So we've been able to take George there. Like Michael takes him in the morning, and I usually take him in the afternoon. Yeah. And um, yeah, we get our one hour of exercise for him. Well, well, so two gets, hours total he, he of exercise for him. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's not been too bad. It's been sunny like this quite a bit. Yeah. So like solar panels have been up and tilted, and we haven't. I ran the engine today for the first time in three weeks. Luckily um, it started. It's been, you know, we've been sitting at 100% power. If we had a washing machine, we'd have been golden. Yeah, well, except we'd have run out of water quicker. But yeah, true. <laughs> There's a bench just there. Where is it? There. Right there. there. People like to sit on and drink beer, so that was a bit annoying. But that was yeah. the only issue, really. Yeah, and, oh, and, and, and for some reason they like to dispose of their... Man's just getting his hose thing. out. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, they like to dispose of their beer cans by just tossing them immediately behind there. So there's, there's probably about $150 worth of metal behind that bench. And we had one incident where about 11.30 at night, some kids undid our ropes and pushed us out into the canal. Yeah. So that wasn't fun. I sort of used the pole to push us back and we got tied on and I mean, they, they dumped a bunch of... Um, shopping trolleys in the canal back there just basically did a bunch of jerky idiots. It's stuff. annoying whenever it happens but the fact that we're on lockdown is just extra annoying because like hasn't everyone got enough going on right now? But... Yeah so anyway on the good side I, I had to figure out a better system for tying our boat up to, and we haven't been bothered since. But and considering, I'm sure those oiks have been walking past. Considering we were told not to more in Redford like it hasn't actually been too bad really. No no in fact overall it's, it's actually been really nice. It's and there's just, um, some moorings just above the aqueduct, which we were told were the best ones. And if we end up coming back here, we which might. We will have to. Yeah, we might yeah. go up there. So, yeah, so we've got three miles to go today to get water. And four locks, including for some reason the bottom lock, the bottom middle lock, the top middle lock, but not the top lock. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to top up with water. We're going to empty our rubbish. We're going to visit the Elsan. And turn around basically mm. um we'd like a break from here so if we can moor up there we will i think there are some moorings we'll find some place and we'll have at least in at least a few days until we start to run out of groceries again i think we'll have a we'll have a week before we have to come back here but yeah. we'll just see what it's like and what we find yeah so so i'm actually really sorry really excited about moving because like we had all winter where we were sitting still pretty much and we were like, come, we'll go to Canada mid-March. That didn't happen. Come back from Canada. We'll do the Chesterfield. Then we'll go back on the trends and we'll go down to Yeah, we should Torsky, be halfway up and leaving then, leave yeah, Liverpool by so now. Yeah, so it's been really frustrating, especially since the weather's got nice. But everyone's in the same boat. So we're not complaining. It's just a bit miserable, really. Yeah, but it is kind of funny, right? I mean, floods, storms, yeah. floods, storms, more floods, virus. We're, we're trying to slow down a bit. Nature is trying to help us. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? Right, Michael's going to go and open the lock. Yep. And uh, you're okay. gonna, we're going to go through the first one, then you're going to go to the second one? You're going to walk the second one? Yeah, maybe. It's not and many then ride, ride till three and four? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Good fun day. At least there's not too many people on the towpath. Yeah, it's pretty quiet, considering we're right in the town. All right, let's go. And I will not miss this noise. <laughs>
No, yeah. Not being by the fire department is a good thing. Unless you have a fire. Lovely guys. Really, really, you know, reactive to anything that happens in the area. There was, in fact, a car fire down that way that they all ran off to a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, you know. I've been out quite a bit. Yeah. Got to admire them. But at the same time, damn, they make a lot of noise. <laughs> all right, let's go. As hardly any boats have used this lock in the last three weeks, some weeds have gathered just below the gates. Michael uses our pole to clear them out, otherwise they could get stuck behind the gates and prevent them from opening fully. This is Retford Town Lock and the first narrow lock we come to on the Chesterfield Canal. The bridge above the lock actually forms part of a public footpath and so it's fairly busy with people crossing to get to the town centre and shops. Above the lock there are three aqueducts. First we cross a small stream. Then we cross the River Idol, which runs through the park and is where George has been taking his daily swim. And then there's another little stream, which is more like a swamp and where George likes to go to get a little muddy. The canal water is surprisingly clear and we spot quite a few fish. They're probably enjoying the ban on fishing which has been put in place for this part of lockdown. It's a couple of miles to the next lock, so I jump on the boat with George. We've managed to choose a gorgeous day to do our water run and the spring blossoms are just lovely. There are some visitor moorings alongside the woods here. They say 48 hours, but due to lockdown, the time limits have been suspended and continuous cruisers like us are not expected to move on every two weeks. In fact, we're only allowed to move the boat to get water or food or for repairs or to see a doctor or for a pet to see a vet.
It's pretty shallow along here, so we're going very slowly, but that's okay. We're savouring every second of being allowed to move the boat for the first time in three weeks. As usual, George would much rather be running along the towpath. We spot Forest Bottom Lock off in the distance. George discovers a shortcut from one side of the lock to the other. We usually have him secured while we go through locks, but once the water has risen, we sometimes let him off to have a little run around. Especially when it looks like this one, there isn't anywhere to attach his lead. The next lock is just around the bend and quite logically it's called Forest Middle Bottom Lock. Michael travels through the pound slowly to give me a chance to get ahead and get the lock ready. For some reason I don't notice that it's already drained and I crank the paddles up even though I could have just opened the gate straight away. There's nothing like creating extra work for yourself on a hot day. I pause and enjoy the views trying not to feel silly as Michael brings the boat into the lock. The water point is just above the next lock. As we arrive, we meet some viewers who are moored on the visitor moorings below the lock. They tell us that the platform that allows you to walk across the top lock gate has been damaged and the gate might not open all the way or shut again. We take a look and decide that it'll probably be okay. We need to get water anyway, so we have to bring the boat up. At this point, the front camera runs out of batteries. The gate opens just fine and we move on to the water point and then luckily the gate shuts fine too. Once the water tank is full, Michael takes the boat to the turning point, which is just before Forest Top Top Lock.
and then he brings the boat back to where George and I are waiting and we moor up for the night. I don't even know where we are. <laughs> We're above the... We're above the middle, middle top, top lock. lock. <laughs> yeah, oh. above the oh, is it forest, forest middle top lock. Below the forest top lock. We're not going to stay here that long. We're just going to stay for a night because... We're not really on a mooring, we're on the lock landing. And there's another lock landing over there where the tap is. But I don't know, no boats will come along, probably. No, nobody's traveling right But now. we shouldn't really stay here. So we're no. going to go back to the other mooring. Yeah, plus it's not really, basically it's, the visitor moorings are actually on the other side of the lock. And there's no room. Well, there and might the, be room, but. Well, there might be room, but the bigger problem is just that um, we, we don't know that there's room. <laughs> And this lock's a little fiddly. There's a broken piece of wood on it. So if we go through, we're committed and we're not coming backwards to get back up here. And we'd have to continue on for a couple of miles to find a place to stop, which would be fine. But at the same time, you know. We're ready to stop today. Yeah. It was a nice cruise up here. Like we just got really lucky to be having to do our water run on such a lovely day. Yeah, it's, you know, it's beautiful. There's very, very few people about. Yeah. Except for a woman walking two Spider-Mans, which was cute. <laughs> and a bunch of little kids going, well, hello. Yeah. Some kids going, ahoy. Yeah. More time around parents. More time to get walk around in Spider-Man outfits. Full Spider-Man outfits, including Spider-Man gummy boots. I never got that when I was a kid. At least as far as I know. You can have them now. That's true. Um, if we can find Spider-Man boots <laughs> in my size. It felt a bit, I don't know. I, didn't, I wasn't on the boat when Michael just turned the boat, but... It was a bit sad to be turning around without making it to the end because obviously we want to go to the end and we will go to the end but one of the problems with the Chesterfield Canal is it's really shallow and then in springtime it just gets overrun with weeds so if we can't get to the end before the weeds choke it it could be a problem it could be a problem so and it's springtime now yeah so it just depends how long till we're allowed to move yeah. So if it gets choked up, then we'll come back. <laughs> In like November, once we've gone all the way around the... In a big loop. Yeah. Which but, we'll have to do oh, in maybe. a lot more of a hurry than we were expecting to do. Yeah. Which but, means... All good. Yeah, we should just save it. It's not moving. And honestly, today it's just been... Glorious. Yeah, so good for us. <laughs> yeah. Real big mental health boost. Yeah. I mean, people ask us all the time about, you know, sort of... Like, what's it like to be in a compressed little tube? And how does your relationship work? And I'm like, well, the relationship works great. Figure that out before you get on the boat. But yeah, <laughs> lockdown for us, being together has not been an issue at all. No. But not cruising has like, affected us both. Yeah. I mean, I would say that the first week affected George the most because he was having such a reduction in the amount of walking that he was yeah. doing. But uh, we kind of once we got kind of that dialed in. Yeah, he adapted and he knew his new habit. Yeah. But um, today he's got a new habit. Of, usually when we get to locks, he will just sit him down, and he'll chill out. And when we're ready to go, he'll go. No, he's all barky. Every lock? Well, no, not every lock. About three of the locks, he started barking. Like yeah. George, what's going on? Yeah. So he's yeah, and he's he's got a substantial bark. So it's like, Jesus, I just jump out of my skin. What's going on? Oh, he's just saying hello. Yeah. Oh. But the good thing is we've topped up with water now. So that was the main, that was the only reason for moving. Yeah. The mental health thing was a bonus, a side bonus. Yeah. And really we should just stay here. But. Um, we'll have to go back to Retford for food in like a week, a week and a half. Yeah, and there's a much more isolated mooring with, a, with less people around it yeah. about halfway back, so... We'd have to do that trip anyway. Yeah, so we may as well do that half tomorrow yeah. and then just, and just stay stop. there until we're out of food and have to move on to... Yeah. yeah. So it's a bit of planning, but, you know, when it comes down to it, man, we are so lucky yeah. to be doing it this way because yeah. we were already isolated. Yeah. We were already kind of, you know like social distancing from everyone else yeah can't really social distance from each other they want to yeah but it's just like there's there's literally no room to be two <laughs> meters apart <laughs> yeah and like retford was good for the shops but 
it just got too enclosed because our hatch was on the towpath side as well. Whenever I left, left it open, someone would walk past, like yeah. right next to the hatch. But you know what are you going to do? Hopefully this doesn't go more than another no. three to four weeks. Yeah. So that'll at least take a week out of it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to, click that bell to get notifications. The bridge above the lock actually forms part of a fob. <clears throat> so thanks for watching. Was there anything else you wanted to say? No. Okay. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Already? Good. And the sun is really bright, which is why we've got sunglasses on. Yeah, I literally have no idea if the camera's recording or not. Mm -hmm.